All right, so here's a tip for you guys that have um, encountered P1120 and P1121 with the Lexus GS, IS300, and, and many of those vehicles that has the TCS I throttle, like these right here. A few posts on uh, Lexus Owners UK and even on Club Lexus and even in the Lexus GS group, somebody had mentioned this and to be honest i didn't believe it at first until i actually took one apart and looked at it and i've replaced a few of these for people so i know for a fact that this works basically the context here these pins they get soldered onto a board on here and when it gets hot the solder joints eventually break off probably from vibration or you know the constant use which is simply from being old or bad solder whatever it is uh, the solder joints get weak and it cracks so to fix this what you would have to do is basically cut this open as you can see I've sliced it here and uh, once you have sliced this uh, you gotta pry this plastic cover open you don't want to pry too much you just want to pry it enough to where you can expose the contact points be careful you don't want to scrape the board okay so that should give you enough room to work with and let me see if I can show you where the crack is trying to get some visualization of where the joints are actually cracked on the solder so you can see how this is uh, kind of cracked right here and on this point right here it should be a smooth piece but it obviously have cracked right here as well and this one right here as well The proper thing to do is actually desolder it and you apply new solder on, but most of you probably don't know how to do that. Um, so the easiest way, the hot soldering iron, lay on there for a second, let it melt again, and then uh, pull the solder gun off and let it cool off. Here is my soldering station. And... There's the right way to do it and the quick way to do it. I'm going to show you the quick way to do it. Which Clean it up real good. So the quick way to fix this, which I don't recommend, um, is basically just take a soldering iron after you clean it up and basically heat up the joints. And let it re reattach itself. Now if you look at these solder joints after this, It's going to be sloppy and it's not going to attach properly. It will work, but it probably won't last too long. So my recommendation is actually remove the solder and then um, apply new solder on there. Let me show you how to do that.
And then you take some soldering paste. Q-tip, rubbing alcohol. That's what it looks like. Since this piece is now cracked, uh, you can't really use it. I mean, use some JB Weld, epoxy of some kind, and just glue this piece, uh, this section right here, and make it airtight or waterproof. And make sure this is still movable once you uh, once you have glued it. So, yeah, there's that.